Today we are going to be comparing a ground structure and a rib structure. Yes, many controversial statements have been coming on and saying no, the ground structure is better and it has worked for me. And other people say the raised structure is the best you can ever have. I know there are some farmers who deal well with it, who have used the ground structures. It has worked for them well, which is okay. But we are also there who have used the raised structure and it has also worked well. Now, me, I have used both structures. Like here we are and we have here. We also have a raised structure behind us in the background. The challenge we, we have, me, have seen the raised structure is better for me. Yes, uh, let me take this opportunity to welcome my new and returning viewers. Please, it is you that make us to always think about something new, something uh, interesting, something uh, informative, and uh, all other aspects that we think have helped us and will help you too. Remember, for us, we share. And we move with this statement that sharing is caring. If I share to you something, I'm caring for you. So please subscribe because I have brought for you something that is very spicy and good. Today we are going to be comparing a ground structure and a rib structure. Many controversial statements have been coming on and saying no, the ground structure is better and it has worked for me. And other people say the raised structure is the best you can ever have. Okay, mm. now Mr. Living, yes. you you already have these two structures mm. at your farm. Mm. You have a ground structure as well as a raised structure. Mm. But according, because you might not be so technical mm. about the housing and what, mm. but I think you can give your view according to how you have experienced mm. when these goods are in the ground structure and when they are in the raised structure, especially when it rains, mm. how do you think these goods will treat you according to different structures? structures. Now, well, uh, what I have observed, yes, really, what my manager here has ever told me something, what you adapt these goods to is what they go with, and they will adapt with time. I know there are some farmers who deal well with it. We have used the ground structures. It has worked for them well, which is okay. But we are also there who have used the raised structure and it has also worked well. Now, me, I have used both structures. Like here we are and we have here. We also have a raised structure behind us in the background. 
the challenge we, we have me have seen the rail structure is better for me. as compared to ground structure, most especially in the wet season. Uh, when it rains down on the ground, where they stay, and there are many, the goats are many, they are numerous, so are many, it will disturb them a bit. So because they will be running where there is shade to compile themselves, and you will find that most, their side is so difficult, it is muddy down on the ground, sometimes there is erosion passing through, disturbed us so much that's why we we tried both and for us we we said let us go with the one which is raised one it is the manure goes through up to down and someone sweeping the goats will be always have no problems with maybe cases of foot rot on a muddy ground so they will always be up when it rains where well, they will not come they will only come down when it is shining and they go maybe to graze so me i found it good to work with a raised structure. That's what I can say. However, people, uh, me, my emphasis is on ventilation. Whenever there is enough ventilation, people can work the ground, they can also, you can use them, because here we have enough ventilation. They will raise, they will be there. Though some goats enjoy more staying up on a raised structure. When you are controlling ammonia coming back easily, then, you are controlling the you are having enough ventilation even passing down going up basically that's what i can say okay thank, thank you, you very mm. much yeah. you. really you have heard him mm. 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 now when we go to the technical aspect mm. and uh, yes. to <coughs> to the professional observation yes. mm. Eh? Mm. you know uh our our areas are totally different mm. you might find some areas when it is so cold day Eh? Yes. when it is very 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 cold mm. and you find other places when it is very dry mm. you see mm. like for example when you go to south africa south africa it is dry, very eh? dry. and that's where why you're going to find many structures for goats down down because they rarely receive rain mm. you see mm. and uh, it is seated on a rock you see yeah. so such such things we base on and we say no according to your area mm. yeah you go with the raised structure mm. according to your area even though you go for the ground structure it will still work better for you mm. we have different farmers and different viewers and different customers that usually come and buy des our design plans yes we do recommend raised structures because for it it will work properly in all the stated weather conditions weather. that i have said i have talked about mm. so please i do recommend that because of some things i'm going to show you i'm going to show you we received some rains at night and i'm going to show you how under the raised structure is looking and and think that if these goats we are in a, a, a ground structure how would really be at this time you see mm. and for you you can now say that let me go for this but for us we have told you what is best for you thank you very much um we shall be sharing you uh, with you a lot of information please if you need anything that you want to know about this venture leave a comment mm. we shall be making a video for you as well as subscribe because we need you in the family thank you very much